Hey guys, this is Gloria. So I am here to share with you guys a small AliExpress haul. Um, but first I did want to answer a couple questions that um, some of you guys had regarding um, the girl on the front of my personal size traveler's notebook um, and how I got her attached to the front of my book. So first off, I followed the tutorial that um, Bona, a live, love, scrap did for us. And I just... Um, change the measurements up a little bit to fit the Dollar Tree inserts, the weekly inserts that um, the Dollar Tree sold. So anyway, um, this girl comes out of this paper stack. I'm sure everybody has seen it already. It's from um, Hobby Lobby. It's the Paper Studio. You can get it on sale whenever Paper Studio stuff is on sale, which is almost like every other week, and it'll be $7.50. I believe you can also order it online if you don't have a Hobby Lobby near you, but you would have to check that out. Um, so I did use the girl out of here and all I did was just fussy cut her out um, Like I said, I used bonus tutorial The only thing that I did different is the measurements are a little bit wider for that insert And I also put this tab on the back of my flap in order for my Elastic to go underneath the girl instead of going on top of her now the girl was ran through my um, Laminator twice uh, so that she's nice and sturdy. She's actually a little bit thicker than the actual book because the book was only ran through once and the girl was ran through twice. And all I did was use some glossy accents to glue her to the flap um, on the front of the book after I put the elastic in. So I hope that helps. The second question was um, how I made this little pom-pom um, paper clip. And again, this was super simple. Um, let me tell you guys what I used so um, last year I picked up this from Tuesday morning and it is um, a feather boa by Simplicity it was 99 cent and it comes on a roll just like this and so all I did was I just snipped off a small piece um, of the boa like this and depending on how long you want it because if you want it longer you can have it longer kind of like a feather um, sticking up out of your book, but all you're going to do is you're going to make sure that your paper clip is facing this way and That you're working with the single loop instead of the double loop side because this side is the side that goes onto your paper um, You're just going to feed it through and then you're just going to make sure that you put right here You're going to put some hot glue there and you're going to hold it in place until it sets up And then you're just going to fold it over on itself and then put a little bit more hot glue at the end there and you're going to hold that in place until it folds in on itself and holds really good and secure. And then you're just going to find the end of the, the boa and then you're just going to cut it off. And that's it. And then you're going to come out with a little poofy paper clip just like the one that I did here. Very, very simple. Um, I know that Joann's has the Simplicity brand. So um, they may have that... Um, in stock at the store but I'm not exactly sure um, it does say that this is a one and a half inch feather boa that's all it says on the on this tag um, and on here it says one and a half inch and then it says 38.1 millimeter six feet 1.82 mil uh, meters so um, that's what came on here and this like I said it was only 99 cent but I got it last year so on to my um, AliExpress haul um, I did pick up this, and these are some little critters. You can make um, the squirrel, you can make a fox, and a raccoon, I believe. And so this one came from Alina Crafts, and I know that because she's pretty much the only one that has her own branding name on her dies. And so let me show you guys what those look like cut out. This was just a fun die to get. Um, these were really cute. I made up the raccoon and I thought the raccoon came out super cute and I just used some glitter paper and the reason why I really like these is because um, you can actually slide these on your um, like journal pages and stuff if you want and they can like hold your pages or like this one is holding a little heart now i didn't finish this one all the way up but you guys get the idea with the raccoon but um this one is holding a little heart in the in the hand and actually this heart is not glued in so i can take the heart out if i wanted to so you can pretty much make them hold whatever you want that's um super tiny and their little arms will hold it just like that 
I thought that was so cute. So that was from Alina Crafts, and that one cost me a dollar and ninety-five cent. The next die that I will share with you guys is um, this die here, and this was another fun die to get. This was uh oh, my little piece just fell out, but this is um, a igloo and it has a little penguin on it. Now, I thought that this die was gonna be the igloo and then the penguin was gonna be separate, but it wasn't, but that's okay. Um, this one was a dollar and 50 cent, and my little piece just fell out, but I will glue that back in place because it, it wasn't taped on the back correctly. But I wanted those pieces to stay in because what I did was I cut this out twice and I just um, layered a second layer on top of the first layer and put some um, sticky tape, two-sided tape on the back in order to hold all the pieces in. And then I used hot glue to put the second layer on. And then here I just um, colored in the little penguin girl and you know, that's about it. I thought she was really cute and she can go on a card or something like that or um, a scrapbook page. I really like um, doing scrapbooking, which I haven't did in a while, which I need to get back to, so. Um, the next one that I will share with you guys is this one. And this die was $2.20 and it is a Christmas tag die with stitching around it. Really, really pretty die. And this is what I created with it. Of course, you can make shakers with this. Um, I just chose to use this um, vellum with hearts on it behind. And um, I wanted to show you the back because if you look very closely, you can barely see any glue. Like, I don't see any glue at all on the back. And I actually use my little precision tip bottle with glossy accents in it to glue that vellum to this card. And it came out great. I mean, I, like I said, I don't see any glue on the back, and that is a great thing. So um, just a little tip, if you are working with vellum, you may want to try the glossy accent in a small... Uh, precision tip type bottle like that and I also got that bottle from uh, AliExpress as well that's on a few videos back and then of course like I say you can make a shaker out of it so I did cut it out of foam and if I wanted to make a shaker I can just cut a top layer for this and then you know put my little shaker pieces in and everything so I thought that this was really nice um, and it cuts really really good cuts foam really well and then, last but not least, I cut out this one. And with this one, um, I cut the Merry Christmas out where it now is just a tag with a snowflake in it. You can also cut the snowflake out and then it'll just be an open tag and you can put any sentiment in there that you want. You can make it a shaker, do whatever you want to do with it. So I thought that was really, really cute and a very nice versatile die to have. So I have that one. And then I also have this one, which is another fun die to have. You know, all of them are not functional, functional dies, but some of them are just fun to have, which is this one. Um, I really like these too, so um, I thought this was a cute little die. This is a dollar and twenty nine cent, and um, I really like it. And I will show you guys what that looks like cut out as well. And I think it's really pretty. And it also has like these little embossed parts on the back of the bee. And it has these little, you know, the wings cut out perfect. I mean, it's it's really cute. Nice size. And it, it'll be cute for like baby cards and stuff like that. And um, I can imagine even using these on scrapbook pages and like put some stitching coming from behind it where it looks like it's kind of flying around the paper or something like that. So it's really cute. The next die that I have is this box die. This one is very similar to the one that they sell at Hobby Lobby, which I also have, and it's about the same size. This one was $2.75, though. Now, one thing I will tell you about this die, if you get this die, um, you need to make sure that you cut the pieces. Um, you need to cut, use this die on the right and the wrong side of the paper. So, right here, this is um, just some orange paper and I'm not sure if you can tell but this is the front side both of these are on the front side and this is the back side of the paper when you go to cut out this particular die the top of it is here this is the top which is this part here which is the lid and then there's also a part for the bottom that you can either tape shut or you can leave two flaps out 
okay? But you want to make sure that when you go to cut this out, you cut one and you, you have your paper face down and then you cut one with your paper face up. And then that way you're gonna get your two separate sides in order to put your box together. Um, make sure that if you are using um, like pattern paper and stuff like that, that you are um, going in the right direction of the pattern paper. And I'll show you guys an example of that. So this is the one that I cut out using pattern paper. And I also cut the B out of the front of this and just replaced it with some vellum. But what I'm saying is this is the top of the box. So you want to make sure that the top of the box is facing the top of the heart. So that when you go to open up your box, your box is going to open and everything is going to flow the correct way. Um, if you do it the other way, then your hearts may be upside down. Um... And then, like I say, you want to make sure that you cut one one side up and one one side down so that you're able to put it together. But that's how it goes together. And if you guys can see, that's how large it is in the inside. A really nice size box. But like I said, if you have the one from Hobby Lobby, it's pretty much the same size as this one. So you don't really need both. But I like to just see what the sizes are like and if they're um, comparable to each other if I have the die and so um, you know you can always put the little bee back in if you wanted to and make it um, dimensional and make the little wings go up I think it's a really cute die to have especially if you're you don't have a lot of box dies and I love um, boxes and bags and stuff so I try to pick those up whenever I can then I did want to show you guys this um, little goop I've probably did not show you guys this the last time when I was showing my Halloween dies but this is a Halloween die but it can most definitely be used as dripping water or ice um, so this is a great die to have and this one was 87 cent and then last but not least I wanted to share with you guys these um, little tassel holders now these the size of these these okay first off these were a dollar and it, it has 50 of these in there and these are called um, bead caps or bead endings or something like that but if you can see on there it says 8 by 13 millimeters um, which is okay but they're very tiny they're very tiny because the inside right here is actually six millimeters. The eight millimeters is on the outside. So you want to make sure that if you get these tassel holders and you have that tassel die, that you, you get them larger than this. You want to at least have an eight millimeter opening here. And once you look on AliExpress, you will definitely see um, the ones with an eight millimeter opening that have like a 10 millimeter out here. Like this area is 10 millimeter and then this is like 14, I think. So that's just something to be aware of because I purchased these in the gold as well as the um, this gunmetal kind of color, not knowing that this was not the correct size. So now I have all of these and uh, I mean, I can use them, but I just, um, I, I don't, I, I wanted the larger ones. So um, I did place another order for the larger ones and they should be here hopefully in about um, a week or so and I'll be able to share those with you when they come in so that is about it guys if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I possibly can take care guys bye